To improve crowd simulation beyond basic motion planning, we must include social and psychological factors. For example, allowing people to exit an elevator before others enter is a social protocol. Alternatively, the psychological perception of authority allows a small group of police to control a large, disorderly crowd. We propose a method for introducing phenomena such as these and more into crowd simulation. We translate these intangible factors into proxy agents in the simulation system. By carefully designing the characteristics of these proxies, complex crowd behaviors will naturally develop through the simulator's basic planning mechanism. The central idea behind proxy agents is twofold. First, when planning a path, agents view the proxy as indistinguishable from any other agent in the system and must plan around it. Second, how the proxy updates its state determines the pattern in agent response. Here we see two basic simulation agents. The red agent simply passes by the green agent. We add two proxies to the green agent to change its ability to influence the red's response. For the purpose of planning, the red agent considers all three entities to be equivalent and therefore plans around all of them. In this video, we demonstrate three types of proxy agents and the crowd behaviors they induce. The aggression proxy allows us to model aggressive agents. The agents project a presence in the direction they would like to travel, causing other agents to clear the path. We expect that agents with aggression proxies should achieve their goal more quickly. Here we see a composite agent with an aggressive proxy seeking to push through an oncoming group of basic agents. As urgency increases, the agent's aggression proxy begins to grow. The other agents respond and open a path for the composite agent. Now, free of obstacles, urgency decreases and the proxy shrinks. Here we show an application of aggressive agents. 1,000 agents, 47 with aggression proxies, try to evacuate a burning office building. The agents wearing the bright red t-shirts have aggression proxies. Note how they progress more easily through dense crowds than the basic agents. We illustrate the impact of aggression proxies in this side-by-side -side comparison. Aggression proxies should lead to faster evacuation for the composite agents. The two simulations below indicate this. The priority proxy allows us to model social protocols. The proxy sits at a contested location and reserves it for its parent. It acts as a soft constraint, permitting oncoming agents through as reasonable. Here we see a red composite agent with a priority proxy. As the agent approaches the doorway, the proxy grows, holding the agent's place available. The green agents must plan around the proxy, thus giving priority to the red. 100 composite agents, each with a priority proxy, arrive on the train. When the doors open, the exiting agents use the priority proxy to efficiently disembark while the boarding agents in turn wait and then board. The trail proxy allows us to model the authority which allows a group to remain cohesive in a mob. The proxies work together in a set to mark the trail traveled by their parent. Through this mechanism, line integrity is maintained. Here we see a line of composite agents with trail proxies. They are able to walk on each other's trail. The green agent is not and must wait for the trails to disappear to cross. We apply trail proxies in a scene of protesters outside a government building. Two lines of policemen come to clear the protesters from the road so a car can depart. The police all have aggressive agents to force their way into the crowd. We use trail proxies to represent police authority. The protesters, in deference to the perceived authority, are unwilling to become intermingled with or break the line of the police. In this side-by-side -side comparison of the previous scene, the role of the trail proxies play is apparent. The simulation with proxies allows the police to maintain their orderly march. Without trail agents, the chaos inherent in the mob of protesters forces the police to separate. 
Our approach has several strengths. First, it can model a wide range of behaviors. Second, it is simple and plugs into existing planners. Third, it has limited additional memory and CPU requirements.